gang! In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a cargo pocket. But before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you'd give that button a little click. The first thing we need to do is draw ourselves a rectangle. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, click once on the page, and the size we're going to use for this is 47 points by 55 points. Why? Because I drew a pair of pants and this looked like a nice proportion size for a cargo pocket. There it is. And since it is so small, let's go ahead and zoom in close so we can really see what we're doing. Next, we're going to grab the ellipse tool and we're going to draw an ellipse right in the center although it's going to be kind of off center so that we don't grab those anchor points. We're going to keep it really thin and we're going to fill it with gray. So I'm going to double click on the fill and the gray I like is CCC CCC and click OK. Now I'd like these two to be centered. So we're going to select both pieces, open up Pathfinder, well, sorry, open up the Align panel. And if you can't find yours, you're going to go up to Window Align and we are going to align this center just to make sure that everything is the way we need it. The next thing we're going to do is add stitches. So we'll select the rectangle, go up to Object, Path, Offset Path. Now Offset Path, by default, when yours opens, it's going to be set to 10 and it's going to make a path like this around the outside of our pocket. But we don't want that. To draw stitches, I want a path on the inside. So I'm going to change this offset to a negative number, which is going to move it to the inside. And I only need it to offset by one point. So I'm going to type in negative one. And if I click preview on and off, you can see that now it's on the inside. I'm going to click OK. Now I'd like this to be stitches. And I just happen to have a graphic style for my stitches that I can click on and be done with it. But if you don't happen to have a graphic style for your stitches, let me show you how to make them. I'm going to go to the stroke paddle, change the stroke weight to 0.25 because the stitch weight should be much finer than the outline of our cargo pocket. We're going to make sure that we've got round caps and round corners because needles poke round holes into fabric. We're going to turn on the dash line and by default, you'll find that your dash line is set to 12 which are kind of large. So what we're going to do instead is highlight them and change it to two, tab two. And you're going to make sure that the icon on the right is pressed or selected. Lastly, you're going to go over to your fill and make sure it has no fill because stitches should never have a fill on them. Now that they're properly set up, you can go to your graphic styles, click the button for new, which is the little plus sign in the lower right hand corner, Double click on the word graphic style and type in stitches. That's it. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now you've got a stitches graphic style. The next thing that I want to do is add depth to this pocket. So I'm going to click on the rectangle. I'm going to copy it, control or command C, and then paste in back, control or command B for back. I'm going to use my nudge key on my keyboard and nudge this over a few clicks. And as you can see, my paste in back didn't work the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to undo that. And you know what? Sometimes mistakes happen. The computer doesn't always respond the way that you expect it to. So let's try that again. I'm going to copy Control or Command C. And then I'm going to paste in back Control or Command B for back. And we'll try again. I'm going to nudge it over a few clicks, and this time it worked. Let's fill this one with gray. And as you can see, I also made myself a gray graphic style. And we are going to do a couple of things to manipulate this. I'm going to grab my Add an Anchor Point tool. The shortcut key for that is the plus sign. You can see it's the little pen tool with the plus on it. We are going to add an anchor point right here. We just want to make sure that we add it to the gray rectangle and not the white rectangle. And if necessary, you can use your nudge key once you've clicked on it to nudge it over a tiny bit in case it's not perfectly in line. 
Now we're going to switch to our white arrow, shortcut A, and we are going to move two points. We're going to take the point in the corner and use your arrow key to nudge it up a bit, and this is going to create the depth of our pocket. And we're going to select this upper left hand point and we're just going to drag it right over to line up with the top of the white corner. And now we get that cargo pocket shape. We just need to add the flap. So to do that, we're going to grab the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that is just slightly larger than the previous one. Now, if you like, you can just click on the page and your last measurements are going to show up. So we can just do that. Let's move it over so it's in line with our white piece. I'm going to hit D for default on my keyboard to turn it white. And I can just go ahead and shorten it to a size that looks right to me and drag out the width a tiny bit so it's just the littlest bit wider than the pocket. And to align it, I'm going to select the flap, hold my shift key, select the white part of the pocket, and one more time without holding the shift key, I'm going to click on the pocket again. And this way when I click align, it will align the flap to the pocket and not move everything else out of alignment. So I can go click align center and you can see the flap moved but nothing else. Now we need to add stitches, so we'll select the flap. We're going to go Object, Path, Offset Path. It holds the same setting as the last time you used it, so there's no need to change those numbers. We'll click OK, and we'll change it to Stitches using our Stitches graphic style. We only need one more thing, and that is our Velcro in order to keep the pocket closed. So let's go ahead and add that Velcro. I'm going to draw a rectangle, and this is a visual going to draw a little rectangle where I want my Velcro to be. And since the last thing I drew was stitches, it drew it in stitches. I'm going to switch to my pen tool, shortcut P, and I'm going to draw a line from one corner to the other. Now, when I hover over the corner, notice my pen tool has a minus sign. And that means it wants to delete this anchor point. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to hold my shift key, which changes the minus sign to an asterisk and now I can go ahead and click and it will start a new line. Once I've done that first line I'm going to click enter on my keyboard to release it and I'm going to do the same thing going in the other direction and if you need to hold that shift key again. We'll go back to the layers panel and I'm going to select all the pieces that just made up the stitching for my velcro. So I've got the two diagonal lines my rectangle. I'm going to go back to my graphic styles and hit my stitches graphic style one more time just to make sure everything's nicely aligned. And then I'm going to group it. Right click, group. Now, if there's a possibility I might want to use this Velcro again, it might not be a bad idea to save this as a symbol. So let's select it and go to our symbols panel which I don't have here, so where you can find it is go up to Window and scroll down to Symbols, and there it is. As usual, we're going to select and delete everything that's here because the default symbols in Illustrator are really useless for us in fashion. I'm going to add this to the rest of my little tabs here. So. With my Velcro selected, I'm going to click on the plus sign to add the new symbol. We'll label it Velcro and click OK. And now the next time I need to use my little Velcro stitches, I can select it and just drag it onto my page and place it wherever I like. As I'm looking at this, I'm not in love with the size of the stitches I used for sewing on the Velcro. They feel a little bit big proportionately. But that's okay. Since we made this as a symbol, we can edit the symbol and fix this very simply. To edit the symbol, we're going to double click on it. And then we're going to select everything and open our stroke panel, which shows us the two point dash and gap that we made. Let's change these to one point. Tab, one point. We can click enter on the keyboard and that just changed the size. 
we're going to double click to exit the editing for our symbol. And you can see it automatically made the change on the symbols that we have applied to our cargo pocket. To finish up our pocket, we're going to need to add bar tacks. To make them, we're going to grab the line segment tool and draw a line segment that is seven points with an angle of zero degrees and click OK. We want to make sure that this line segment has a stroke weight of 0.25 with round caps and round corners because we've already determined that our thread lines are 0.25. Now we can add an effect. We'll go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, Zigzag. And when this window opens up, we can make our adjustments. We're going to switch from Absolute to Relative. We can adjust the number of ridges per segment by dragging the slider until we're happy with the way it looks. Uh, we can leave it on corner or you can change it to smooth. It's your choice. I personally prefer smooth and when the size feels proportionate, click OK. And we have just created a bar tack. Now we're going to take the bar tack, open up our symbols and make a symbol from it. So we can use it again in the future. Now all we need to do is drag it into place. We're going to put one on this side and we're going to put a second one over here on this side of our pocket. And now that our pocket is complete, we can select it, group it together. You can either right click and group, but unfortunately when you have a symbol selected, it doesn't give you the option to group. Something that really frustrates me, Adobe, look into that please. We're going to have to select it and use the shortcut key instead, which is Control or Command G to group it together. And now I will select it and add it to my symbols. Now whenever I need a cargo pocket, all I need to do is open up my symbols library. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. See you next time.